This is the Solit triple scale hydrometer and glass test tube. Solit, Solite, not sure how to say it. You can find this on Amazon for right around $17. And I'll drop the link below. This kit is for measuring the alcohol by volume of your brewed beverage. It includes the hydrometer, test tube, hydrometer case, tube cleaning brush, microfiber cleaning towel, and instruction sheet. The hydrometer is triple scale, featuring units for specific gravity, bricks, and potential ABV percentage. It's designed for the beer to wine range. So those units range from 0.08 to 1.16, 0 to 38, and 0 to 21 percent, respectively. The tube requires 125 milliliters for a reading. The tube is also the biggest item in the kit and is about 12 and a half inches tall. They advertise the instrument as lead and mercury free in case that's relevant to someone. Okay, so should you buy? Yes, I could not be more pleased with my purchase. Full disclosure, I only recently got into home brewing and I'm a first time hydrometer owner, but this thing is absolutely getting the job done. First of all, let me say I definitely recommend getting a kit like this rather than buying a hydrometer individually. By that I mean, you'll need these things regardless to actually use the hydrometer, so be prepared. I did a good amount of shopping around as well, and it seemed generally cheaper to bundle everything anyway. Keep in mind the one thing that's still missing from this kit that you will undoubtedly need to make measurements mess free is a baster or wine thief. There are a ton of these on Amazon and it's hard to judge quality from photos, but the one I bought is working well, so I'll link that below if you're interested. So let's get into the details of it. The way I see it, there are basically two schools of thought on the test tube, glass, or plastic. Now knowing myself, I was hard in the camp of plastic being superior, because what the hell, eventually I'm gonna knock the thing over and that only needs to happen once to destroy the glass. Unfortunately, all the kits I found with a plastic tube were actually a bit more expensive, and on top of that they were higher volume. One of the interesting selling points of this tube is the required volume of 125 milliliters. It turns out most other kits feature a 250 milliliter tube, which doesn't sound like much, but once you start grabbing with your baster, you'll find it's a lot of work. It still takes me three to four squeezes to fill up this smaller tube, and you still have to be careful not to make a mess. So looking back, I have to say I'm happy I went with this smaller glass tube. Taking samples probably can't get any easier than this, and during measurements, the hydrometer sits extremely close to the tube edges, so it probably can't get any skinnier. The tube has a blue ring clamped around it, which you can slide up and down at will. You might find this helpful, but I don't really use it. How about the hydrometer itself? Personally, I tend to think mostly in gravity, and that scale works great. I try to target 10 to 15% wines, and there's more than enough range to get accurate measurements around there. The product listing claims gravity can be read up to 1.17, but the labeled units only continue to 1.16. Maybe it's okay to extrapolate a bit farther, there is still some play. The precision on gravity is to the nearest 0.002 points. So if your reading is between the lines, it's 0.001 points. One cool feature is they also color code the axis by wine types and generally beer and wine starting and finishing regions. My hydrometer arrived in good shape and from working with it, the glass construction feels like good quality. I understand these are very fragile, so I have been quite careful, but it hasn't stressed me out or anything. I never put the hydrometer in the tube without first adding liquid because I feel like dropping it straight in could break it. When you're actually reading the thing, you can usually only see one unit scale at a time because they're all wrapped around the small circumference. You might have to give it a spin or do that awkward shuffle around the table to find what you're looking for. The hydrometer case is not only fantastic, but also essential for long-term care in my opinion. This one is stiff, although not totally rigid, so sitting on it with your full body weight could probably still break it or something like that. There are little foam inserts at the top and bottom that will hold the hydrometer securely and safely in place. One underrated part of this kit is the contents are shipped in a rigid foam, which you can continue to use as a means of storage for the glass tube and hydrometer within its case. The brush and cloth are great additions, although I haven't needed them. I actually use the brush to clean the inside of a carboy, which would have been hard to reach otherwise. And that's all there is to say. I'm satisfied with my purchase and I would recommend. I drop the Amazon link below if you're interested. Like and comment with any questions. I'm more than happy to help and I'm sure I missed something. 
Please let me know if I can improve these videos in any way. If you'd like to support the channel, you should of course subscribe. We're trying to get to 1000. But if you'd like to go above and beyond, you can buy me a coffee using the link in the description. I appreciate every one of you. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.